Um, you know how when you're riding there's something that happens great on one rein and then is absolute rubbish on the other. That could be like a circle, a transition, a leg yield, changes, right to half pass, whatever. One rein, nailed it. Second rein, not so much, right? Here's a really simple exercise that can help to create more symmetry in your pelvis and therefore create more symmetry in your aids, okay? You can do this to start with either just on a regular chair or on a gym ball, and once you've got the hang of it, try it out on your horse in both walk and then sit in trot, and then once you've got the feel of what you're supposed to be doing, try it out in those tricky transitions and movements and see if it makes a difference, okay? So this is really simple. You're just gonna sit, firstly, locate your seat bones. If you need to, sit on them and you'll feel them there, the two knobbly bits under your bum. Um, and then ask yourself whether they've got equal pressure, that's a really good start, and whether they're pointing directly down, okay? So, pointing down, hopefully you can feel that they're equal pressure. And you can imagine there's two buttons in front of your knees, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna slide one seat bone forward, the knee will come forward if you're on the floor, it won't happen if you're on the horse, to push that button, okay? And then you're gonna slide it back, Inside the way. I'm going to hold my reins because it feels weird if I don't. Side the way. And you're just going to start doing that one at a time. Okay? And what you're looking for is that the same thing should happen left to right. Okay? So as you slide in the left hip, what happens? Do you tip? Do you tilt? I can certainly see things going on with mine. And it comes back. And then the right hip, is that the same? Mine is not. And then bring it back. So you're aiming to create symmetry left to write, okay? Maybe one just feels a bit sticky, okay? Or maybe there is a full twist or turn. If it's twist or turn, then obviously you can look at further up the body, maybe switching on some core muscles, just being more aware that you do do that. If it's a bit sticky, or maybe it just feels a bit like less able to go, you can focus on doing an out breath as you slide your sticky hip forward, see if that helps, it just creates a bit more freedom. If you've got what I refer to as a crazy hip, as in it does all sorts of weird stuff and it's like you've got no control over it, uh, try making the movement smaller. So if you find that like my left hip goes, my right hip does someone else, make it smaller to start with and let it just get the movement first before you start to gradually increase it. And then that way it starts to slide a little bit more in uniform, okay? So give that a go, first on a seat or on a gym ball, then try it out on your horse and then in your tricky movements and let me know how you get on.